The following interview was conducted with Nancy Ho, research molecular biologist and group leader, Laboratory for Re Renewable Resources Engineering at Purdue University. It took place on Monday, September 15, 2008, in Seward Center. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the oral history librarian. Welcome, Nancy. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us a little bit about where you were born and your parents and siblings in early years. I, I was uh, born in China, you know, near Shanghai and Nanking, but uh, you know, just across from Yangtze River on the northern part, those two big cities on the south part, okay. okay. And uh, uh, it was, yeah, it's a small town, but I did hardly live in a, in my hometown, very few years, but uh, then we went to the northern part because Japanese war. And we, ha we are lucky enough able to move to the, you know, it's the province not being occupied, so. Okay. Do you have any, uh, what was your early years? Tell about early years in school and also yeah, high school. Yeah, school, just so we move, we move, you know, in uh, Shanxi province, and that part is not occupied. But of course we have to, you know, go, uh, go move to different places if the war getting worse. Right. <laughs> and uh, of course there's always a, a Japanese airp airplane come to, you know, bombing, so we have to hide in kind of a and stressful then, time. Yes, then of course after that, uh, so starting internal fighting again, you know, just, so we have to c constant moving, but uh, uh, like just before uh, communists, you know, took over, totally took over the mainland China, we had the opportunity, we moved to Taiwan. Okay. So that was uh, my er early teens. So pr in Taiwan, actually, everything settled down, you know, very normal life. Right. Okay. So, uh, so my junior high, high school were finished there, and college too. Okay. So where, um, what did you major in in college? I and where did you go to college? I, I Tell went us a little to about college. I went to, you know, in the college was very hard. We have the passing entrance examination. <laughs> Lucky enough, I did uh, able to pass uh, and enter into uh, accepted by the uh, best university, National Taiwan University. Okay. I was majoring chemical engineering. Okay, and that time, uh, chi China, uh, Taiwan does uh, accept the uh, you know girl student and female student in engineering department. I don't think uh, that time the American did, okay. <laughs> and uh, so, but it was uh, very not, not too many, okay. But. Uh, How large, it? tell us, what, did you live on campus? What was college no, like? No, uh, well, because of my uh, family live in Taipei, that the university is located in Taipei. So we just come in from home, you know, mm -hmm. in Nanyi. But they do, their, their students stay in the dorm, same mm -hmm. as here. So right. it's quite an advanced university. Sure. It's an older school. It's been around for quite a while, hasn't it? Uh, that, yeah, that was uh, ever since uh, Taiwan. Taiwan was used to be occupied by ja Japanese, and that was a Japanese uh, university, the best uh, Japanese university mm -hmm. too for mm -hmm. that uh, for that whole province. Right. So, did they have student? Were there student activities or clubs or things that you participate in when you were in college? Uh, uh, yes, there's uh, but not like here football. Not like oh, this sure. is, uh, yeah, just a small scale. There's uh, Sure, yeah, there's a basketball and basketball things like that, and then soccer, and uh, but uh, not, not a competition here like this. I w I, I was not good in spo <laughs> sports, <laughs> so I, I'm not have never participated in anything. You know, we do have to uh, take a you know take a you basic, have to take basic some. like uh, you know education and. Uh, that I always have the examine part. I always use that to make up, make boost up my grades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well then after, what year did you graduate? Uh, yeah. I graduated actually 1957. Okay. Yeah. And uh, then what was next? That was uh, the time Taiwan industri not in not terrible industrialized, and not too many jobs, and uh, so I was lucky enough to get a job as a, a teaching teaching assistant. But uh, that that was a period of starting even before I graduated uh, a few years ago. Uh, there's, uh, you know, American accept graduate student from I suppose all over the world, but uh, does accept from Taiwan. And some my friends uh, their their 
you know, older brother, sister already here. So they starting apply. So my my parents, particularly my mother, says uh, you should try too. So <laughs> that's why I applied. I got a scholarship from Temple University. I was very grateful. So Temple they had a good time there, and there the was that your first time to come to mm -hmm, the United. Mm -hmm. What was your first impression? Oh, uh, like I said, I was uh, the 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 school, the uh, the department I was in. Not the, I changed my field. I wasn't after graduate from chemical engineering. I thought, well, probably engineering is not that good. Although I I had a good grades. Okay, <laughs> I was a good student, uh, but I just did not feel you know I did not know what I can do. Okay, so it's uh, time to change. So I was switched to organic chemistry. I was in chemistry department, and it was, the the department was very very nice to foreign student, and particularly the, the you know all, all the professor. It's a smaller university, and uh, it's located but, uh, in Philadelphia. Yes, and uh, but uh, the department head was very nice. You know, summer he always keep all this uh, teaching job for a foreign student. And she says, well, you're an American student. You go ahead and find a job elsewhere. OK, it's easy for you. <laughs> so that was very, very nice. Uh, then, of course, I have some friends already you know, in the United States, in New York area, and get to know some. And in fact, I have some friends in Philadelphia, too. So that really you know, made, the, made a nice not, time for I you. I did not feel such a big difference or something, yeah. All right. Now, after you finished your master's, then tell us what happened. What did well, you do? I decided uh, I decided to switch again. I just uh, to again. I was a good student, but uh, then I took a uh, one class of biochemistry. I feel well, that is more suitable for me. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> shopping I just, around. I just thought, uh, you know, for my study was I always very critical. You know, it has to be I like. I feel I can do, you know, better. Not just study. I, I always thinking later on. You know, after I finish study, I thought the biochemistry more suitable for me be, because more system, systematic. And I suppose I'm gradually moving into more. Uh, uh, in the on the biology side, okay. So, and uh, sort of, I, I never worked in there, but I just feel a little small scale. I did not like organic chem chemistry. Later, I just uh, I'm not enjoy the research part, uh, doing the work part. I feel you know, it's, uh, first off, uh, it's pretty you know many are organic uh, the explosion possibilities. <laughs> it's just I did not like it. Okay, I feel. Biochemistry somehow I feel the smaller scale of water soluble, so it's just more systematic. It's sort of a, a branch of organic chemistry. It is true, you know. Right, right. Organic chemistry to me it's not that systematic, and but uh, biochemistry was you know, better suited. Yes, so okay. I sort of uh, uh, yeah somehow I guess the professor was a very good professor. <laughs> just attracted me, so I decided to do my PhD in. Biochemistry. Okay. Yeah. Was this at Temple then as well? Yeah. No, oh. I uh, decided to go to uh, you know uh, uh, Temple is good, but not the uh, uh, largest school university at that time. Probably they they have a, a good medical school, but uh, probably uh, other research probably it's not uh, you know graduate school and it you, it's not as good as the other. Besides, I like to see some other part of. Yeah. Also, because I was uh, still plan to apply uh, ca organic chemistry, see, I only changed my mind <laughs> in the last semester. <laughs> so I choose the university. Uh, our, our, you know, uh, our, uh, you know, the university, the the, not, not you know the. The president of our university, Taiwan University, a graduate from get a PhD from one of the Midwest university. Okay. So I thought I applied that one. He was organic chemistry major too. So, okay. so that's why I decided to go there. And what, was, what school again did you go to? I went to University of Illinois. Oh, University in Champaign. Yeah, Champaign, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, 
but I was since I you know I applied in organic chemistry. They didn't let me switch to biochemistry. All that I had a I had a teaching assistantship. And then you know biochemistry uh, you know study very easy and not too much difference. But uh, you starting doing experiments. You know the, a lot of biology, a lot of microbiology, all that. Uh, I think that you know just it's the biggest actually turned out to be a biggest difference like uh, I came to Taiwan to Philadelphia I did not feel too much to seems transition from a smaller university to a bigger university seems a lot of bigger difference <laughs> that's what's surprising me I think it's different the operation is different okay I feel a little lost and uh, somehow I did not feel did not feel uh, you know uh, I can adjust well so I decided to uh, I also feel I need a little more experience, you know. So I decided to take a job. It happened, you know, I was not leaving, and uh, but it happened there's a job available for me <laughs> in Chicago. Okay, so I thought, well, I take a uh, yeah, I took, took that job, and just you know, try different things. So and then you know, after you got your PhD, you took no, I did not. I just uh, tried okay. to stop. I was trying then. So then, uh, then I met the. Uh, my future husband during that period, okay, <laughs> and uh, so he he was at Purdue, <laughs> and uh, we decided to get married, and so you know, turn out I have I can't, even I did not take the job, I probably would not finish in I Illinois, okay. So that's what within a year or something. So, so that's why I came to to Purdue. Okay, what year did you come to Purdue then? Sixty three. Okay. Okay. So. And uh, was your was your husband uh, on the? Faculty? He was a, he was a graduate student. Oh, okay. But his professor wanted him to stay, you know. Okay. So they had a center. So, and he helped the professor establish the center. He wanted him to stay, help him to learn. Okay. And my husband's name is Cho Yang Ho. Yeah. And so, that's why I came to Purdue. And initially, it was a little late to apply school, and. Then I decided, well, why not just work for a little bit because uh, we had planned to get married and all that. Uh, so take a little time. And it was, was late, also it was a little complication. You can see the time difference since this is just, say, the history. Uh, they were, you know, biochemistry had was uh, trying to apply, arrange me a fellowship uh, before they, he, they met me, before they knew I was going to get married, okay? <laughs> See my, you know, uh, transcript and everything, so, but uh, after I came, if I did not visit them, I'd probably be a student in biochemistry. After I came, one time visit the campus, so I just uh, made it. You know, my fiance said, so why don't you go visit the department? <laughs> so I did. After talking, and they asked me wh why you come to Purdue, because I was in University of Chicago, you know, was planning to study there. So I said, well, my fiance is going to be here. We're going to get married. <laughs> this is not criticized Purdue, just time so different. Uh, but also different de department, different people. So, and there was, wasn't, I think they wasn't feel I'm going to finish, um, since I'm going to get married, I may not finish PhD. So uh, they sort of try to suggest me after my visit, they maybe take a job, <laughs> okay? They have a job opening. Uh, so I did not take that job, okay? So I was a little, I saw that they, they mean, you know, they re you know why they, they do this, but uh, I wasn't getting feel too bad, so. Then, you know, it's a little late for other, there, my fiance said, there are so many other departments has the same thing, <laughs> so, so I look into biology. Mm -hmm. And uh, the department head was quite nice. If I want to study that time, they do let me, but it's a little late for the semester. I decided, well, I might just take a little job first, so I did. And uh, end up very nice, I uh, was a research assistant, I sort of, uh, I did not, that time I can pick the event. I says because of the difference between a technician researchers, I, I insist I want to do research. Okay. Right. So, and I got the, uh, whatever I wished for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it was very pleasant. I uh, worked, uh, end up a stay uh, that was uh, work for Dr. Gillum. And unfortunately, I think he, was, he is very sick now. Uh, so, 
He was on, and this is in biological sciences? Yeah, yeah, he just uh, retired last year. Uh -huh. So, but anyhow, uh, so I uh, worked for him for a little, little, over, little over a year, then I changed to graduate stu study. I get my PhD. Yeah. So Good. everything I s uh, worked during the period I worked as a research assistant all applied to my thesis. So it was a very, very nice. It was a nice project. I like it. Uh, it was very useful too. So okay. it, the work uh, applied to RNA sequence analysis. It was quite useful that time, okay? Then, of course, after finishing, and uh, my husband, you know, their center, they, he works on their center. And uh, I wasn't, you know, really that much thinking, you know, planning the work, but I just thought, well, there's still some work to do for my PhD work, so we applied a fellowship. I applied a fellowship to stay in the same lab. And <laughs> so after uh, me, getting close finish, then I decided, well, the, the work I did, uh, it's good, and uh, many people use that method to do RNA sequence analysis. I just did not want to go in. I just feel the, the method can be applied to DNA, okay? So I talked to Professor Gillum. I said, well, I want to switch to DNA. <laughs> uh, he first, he was a little, I said, well, it's a pretty new field, new area. Then he knew what I plan to do. He see, he's very strongly forward. He says, let's write a send a proposal. Okay. So we wrote a proposal, and um, that proposal get a very good review. And uh, we, that time we can send to several, we send three, all very good review, all give me money, okay? <laughs> from that on, actually my fellowship, I was a sort of a provide myself. From that on, I provide myself also as a, you know, tech, technical health assistant. So that from that on, I was always independent for supporting myself. <laughs> so that was a good break. Okay. Good beginning, mm -hmm. right? Were you? Did you get married by that time? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. So I came on after three months. So we get married. So, mm -hmm. so that was, uh, uh, yeah, that was good and gave me a, gave me a feeling sure that the review was that uh, good was uh, ex you know encouraging, exciting. But I wasn't. Yeah, I just feel well. Seems that it, it seems not too hard to apply grants. <laughs> Professor Gillum always also said, uh, since uh, you know, if you stay in the university, you have to get used to apply grants. You practice on. So we we submitted from my fellowship to this. That was nice, you know. So I always worked came. out nicely then. Yes. So were you working over in Lilly at that time? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I worked there another nearly ten years. I, uh, but uh, in during the period I work on my own project, then I sort of you know sign. You're a scientist. You have to uh, bronze whatever in the field uh, relate to you. What do you do? The restriction enzyme, the recombinant DNA technique, sort of close to what I try to develop, but it's different way. And when initially nobody believed that uh, your know, technique will do anything, <laughs> okay, will develop too much. But gradually, more such special enzyme developed, and um, I feel well. Yeah, they, they, they will be a good way, good methods. I feel whatever I develop, it's good working. Probably cannot compete in this. Yeah. So I learned the rest, recombinant DNA technique on the side of what I'm still working on my project. A couple of years later, and uh, when. Lori, you know, Laboratory of Renewable Resources Engineering, needed somebody to, you know, modify this yeast. Right. So they contacted me because there's not too many on the campus knowing <laughs> how to and do Lori, it. And Lori was already, let me stop for a minute, Lori was already up in practice. Oh, yes. Okay. That, Lori uh, was the professor Gil's um, house. Uh, First that started he in, it started he first his own lab and then they formed this laboratory okay. and that was uh, before 1980 just about 78 or something so when they found that there's a problem for this yeast to ferment this special sugar so they ask around who who they can ask to help okay <laughs> And they say they recommend they should he should talk to me. Okay, so he did, and uh, I get excited. Uh, 
by the project. Initially, I was only excited because it's good to become DNA technique, a project. Something, you know, one microorganism cannot do, and then you try to, you know, make it working. That, so that was a very nice project. So, but late, pretty soon, I feel it's going to be, you know, if it work it out, and going to be very important. So I decided to join them and took it over the project myself. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So I was starting working on that in 1980. Mm -hmm. And everything, so I mm, planned, it seems I'm fitting that project to fit me so well, since I never worked with yeast, never always work with fermentation, but those are easy to learn, <laughs> okay. And uh, I designed something, I was able to overcome many difficulties, uh, what the people thinking is that, you know, very d difficult to overcome, so that was nice. So, was there anyone any similar project uh, at another place in the country that you were working uh, not on? Not only the country, in the world, there was they, close, they were working on this. Yeah, close to ten different groups. Okay. In this country, probably have the largest number of about five, six groups, and very all large groups. You know, some are national labs. Sure. Work on the same project. <laughs> so, uh, and after, uh, after a few years, people think it's probably too, too hard to, to overcome many, you know, difficulties. So, a lot of give up this approach, okay, this particular East. So, I insisted to stay with the project because I think, uh, uh, it, to me, it is a very, uh, very good, very safe, and uh, easy to work in industrial microorganism. And to me, it's the you know not cost problem is the most important. <laughs> right. And besides, it's a good uh, fermentation organism, good organism to produce ethanol. So sure, sure. I see many points many people did not see. You know the the importance of this uh, microorganism. So. So I continued to work, and uh, I well, had uh, the best time in my life, I guess, 10, 15 years. Was your husband working in a similar? Uh, no, no, he's, he he's, a, chemical, he he's a mechanical engineer. Okay. okay. And a cross with material science, yeah, so. So it's we, a nice combination, we though, we, between we, the two of you. Uh, No, we, we're not to cross with each other okay. work-wise, okay? okay? But he's very nice and very supportive, okay? So I have to give him credits for that. <laughs> so, uh, when we talk about research design, you sort of had it, had it in your mind when you were working on the other thing, but you sort of had the yeast in mind, isn't that? No, I no. did not know okay. yeast at all, just okay. because when they contact me, sure. I, uh, I, you know, starting to learn to you mainly become DNA. You can work with any different system. Okay. So sure, each cells may be differently, each organism, but that is just physiology. You you get adjusted for that. Okay. okay. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, for you know the key process, of how to how to manipulate is uh, almost same. Same. Okay. okay. I'm thinking of things that the researchers, when they listen to this, and, and you're sharing some things which would be very helpful to the people that are studying university and yeah. the research that yeah. you've done. And, and uh, what was it like for support? Did you continue to get uh, both government support? Or oh, yes. Uh, uh, for this job, it's a re you have to have a, a ability to get your own funding. Okay. So it's, okay. a, it's a research uh, position. So first two years, the, the laboratory does have the funding. Uh, so I said, so the first two years, I don't plan to apply any grants because you have to, have whatever I did before, sure, I have the technique, uh, technology, knowing how to uh, manipulate DNA, but uh, I wasn't, like I say, working with yeast. This is a new area, so uh, they, fortunately, they do have the fun as uh, established. That the was lab. a help. Yeah, and uh, w we work very hard. We shoot for the first uh, important thing we clone first in the world we did, <laughs> okay? After that, uh, I have some, you know, already uh, preliminary results, already some results, so, and uh, gave me a, you know, so, what people would feel, you, you know, I, w I am in the field, you know, I can do this kind of work. So from that on, and I sort of, uh, all the research, almost uh, over 90 percent, I would not say 100, almost uh, most of them, uh, rely on uh, applied grants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Are they primarily from the government, or did you get uh, foundation? Most of the grants are from the government, but I do get a lot of company give me other projects. So that helps to keep you know the whole uh, whole lab. Otherwise, rely on this project may not have enough. You know, you at least have a technician, some post, uh, one post or something. You know, at least that uh, some you know uh, money just rely on some. You know, the project when I started it's already not as uh, you know many people because of the. The, the gasoline that time is not a problem. <laughs> so <laughs> apply to work out, you know. So right. when people not feel that urgent, the funding is getting, you know, reduced quite a bit, yeah. What about students and grad students that you get? And that's also, I'm uh, yeah, sure I take some graduate students mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, but uh, I'm, uh, since I wasn't uh, uh, teaching, you know, faculty, so I don't have to always have to take care of, um, I will always keep one or two full-time person because that's the continuation, you know. So sure. if you totally take it, you know, take a, rely on graduate student, you have to take them finish. There are funding never that reliable. Okay. Right. Exactly. So uh, some industrial job mm, they are not uh, that long term. So. Especially at that time, you know. Right. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about some patents. You've gotten patents. Mm -hmm. How did uh, talk for the researchers? How talk, make some comments? Yeah, on the that. the first uh, so-called uh, we we show we can make a, a yeast able to ferment this uh, second sugar, and not only ferment just second sugar, co-ferment both the important sugar, major sugars. So that is uh, we we uh, after we finish that uh, we apply the patent. That's the first patent. Then It'll I take quite a while. Oh yeah, pattern. Once you submit it, take a take a quite a while. This one, I think we submitted like a, uh, 92, 93, and uh, allowed uh, 98. Yeah. <laughs> and then my second pattern, I feel this should be put on the. You know, has to be uh, the gene uh, should be stabilized. It should put the into the chromosome. There was not a good method for putting all the genes that I wanted on the yeast chromosome, many, many copies. And so I had some idea. We developed new, uh, new methods. That's a second pattern, OK? So Did that take as long or not as long? Oh, yeah, that yeah. takes long. Some country, especially here, has not allowed, but many other countries allowed. Right. You, it's the patent applications for the research varies from country to country. Yes. Yeah, and the yeah. U.S. is one of the hardest. Yeah, U.S. is the hardest. But also, as, as somehow I feel Europeans much easier. Right. But it's good to have both U.S. and the uh, Oh, yeah. Well, ours is always international. You know, sure. Oh, yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Let's talk, um, make a couple comments about what the center does, Lori, for the uh, researchers. The center that that you were, have been involved in the for biotechnology and the and center here. is uh, uh, initially was focused on uh, for uh, you know that's called laboratory of renewable resources engineering. So you just take the renewable resources, uh, you do some uh, modification and develop process and make use of this. Mm -hmm. And that initially was mostly for ethanol. And so we have a engineer. We have two engineer group. They were did you know fermentation study, and my my is the uh, molecular biology group. So that is engineering. Sure, in that time, yeast also engineer some do some other uh, modification of microorganisms for some other you know industrial applications. So, and there's uh, some chemistry group, but so many groups did not. Uh, you know, because it has to rely on funding and a lot of things and then co continue to long. Sure, yeah. right. I noticed that they're using the term integrated. Uh, I saw a couple of news things. They call it Integrated Center for Biotechnology and Engineering. <laughs> yeah, they, they changed it a little bit. Yeah, they changed nature, the name yeah, a little but bit. But later on, other, uh, particularly during the 95 to, uh, you know, 90 to, to, to 2000, or early 2000, a lot of people has to take other project because it was not uh, there not enough funding to support sure, such work okay. so. mm -hmm. a couple of things you got some grants one of the ones you got that um, DOE grant uh, the Department of Energy grant in 2007 yeah. that was a big one yeah that was last year and uh, we received a large grant and to further improve this east yeah. okay 
uh, yeah, that was uh, very, very uh, nice because uh, many things, uh, the East still have a lot that need to, can be improving. Uh, we did a, a lot of studies, you know, uh, background studies because uh, those are, uh, you know, very uh, difficult, you know, to study, take a lot of uh, bigger funding to, to, to really you know, do the to study. really do the study, but we did do many, a lot of, background study. So now we, can, we have the funding, we can do some improvement. Right, okay. Yeah. One of the other ones that you got was that Indiana Coal Research Grant. That was uh, another large one. I, you know, the, this work can continue because I had uh, another con um, continuous project from uh, from industry to support to desulfurization. Yeah. That that was a long term project. So is that still going? Is it still ongoing? Or? No, that that one we sort of finished in a, like a year ago. So mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And then that one thing you had a visit from uh, Senator Bai came to visit the lab uh, uh, about alternative fuels. He made a visit there a couple of years ago. Uh, yes, yeah, Senator Bai the and yeah, yes, there's uh, uh, quite a few people visit. <laughs> okay, he right. is the one. I'm You're right. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Let me ask you this: What's that Midwest Consortium for Sustainable? That was uh, yeah. uh, initially a Mid Midwest Consortium. Uh, yes, uh, it was actually started by by uh, uh, a lady usually to uh, to working with the, uh, at Purdue. Okay. He wanted in, he initiated this grant and for working partly working with the industry and then his main funding is from DOE. Okay, and that was nice. Initially, say he was located here, then at Purdue, mm -hmm. and I guess later on they moved to the industrial park. Okay. Uh, so that it requ that it requires matching fund. So when it just started, uh, we did get support from there for four years. And that was uh, uh, Amico for the matching fund. That require have the industry, so industry will, will have to tell industry what we do, and if they, so they were nice to come to support. Okay, so that was a good four years. During the period that we finished most important part. Yeah. Very good. Now, so I've got some awards and honors, <laughs> and you got some. And let me start with the State of the Union speech for uh, President Bush. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty that was how you, how uh, pretty, came about in, pretty in your surprise <laughs> to me, and uh, to anyone I would say anybody probably if, uh, something you know you could get it, but you never know ahead of time. <laughs> did they? What did they call you, or how did it come about? Uh, yes, only a couple of days before they called me. Uh, I was not even in my life because I finished a very you know. Uh, a, a large proposal. That was that $5 million proposal. <laughs> I was very tired. There's people want to talk to me. I, when I, you know, working on that proposal, I did not see them. So afterwards, uh, that day, I, I went out and meet them, you know. And uh, so uh, when the phone call came, but uh, anyway, uh, people you know, get a message and uh, give me the phone number. So I called them, so that was a starting, con yeah, <laughs> made a connection. They, they are not let the people know, so, yeah. What, when, what transpired? Did you get to, to meet uh, President Bush? Oh, I was, uh, uh, tell us about the visit. No, visit because we were just uh, invited there. First, we were, uh, I, I even can bring guests myself. My two sons went with me, <laughs> and then, uh, the, they tell you which, you know, what kind of hotel you can. Uh, uh, we we were first went to the White House. You have a reception. Then those uh, not just me. They, they invite about 10, 20 different guests. The guests and uh, their guests, their, their their guests remain in the in the White House. They watch with the TV on TV, and uh, me and other guests went with uh, to the Capitol Hill. That's kind of nice. Uh, yes, it was nice. And you got to talk. Did you sit that near Mrs. Bush? Uh, afterwards, uh, we had a chance to take a picture with. Uh, I sit by Mrs. Bush. Of course, we just shake hands and said, you know, he, he just said some. She said some nice thing, but it, you know, because that was not too much time, you know. Oh, but that's a very nice honor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then later on, we did have able to take a individually able to take a picture with uh, President and Mrs. Bush. So they sh sh we shake hands and say a few things. 
Yeah. Very. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were the uh, an energy patriot, the second person to receive that honor. From yeah, that was a year before this, uh, and uh, right. that was uh, really nice too. Surprise to me too. So they contact me, and uh, they interview me, and so they put down. Uh, I was the second. Uh, I was. Uh, yes. I, I really appreciate that because after all. I think uh, I was a uh, uh, patriot for that because I tried uh, holding that. <laughs> you know, in all the all the U.S. Uh, the initial have um, you know six seven group. They all stopped doing this. Uh, they some may study other microbes, but uh, they stopped to uh, study this. Uh, and you yeast. kept on. Yes, that's very. And I got and then Discover magazine in 1999. You were one of 27. Of the most important technology in innovations in 1999. That's very yes. nice. Yes, and I think first, uh, yes, that uh, that that's a uh, that's not uh, that's uh, the Discover say. magazine for the genetically engineered yeast. That's uh, the first uh, was actually RD100. That was uh, that was that. Yeah, okay. That's right. And then the second one is a year after that is. Uh, I thought that was a discovery. Yeah, yeah, that's a discovery. Yeah, and the other was the R&D 100, R &D 100, really 100 yes. Yeah. R&D 100 is the first one, yes. okay. Uh, let's the second one is uh, discovered. Yeah. yeah, and how did, how did they, do they let you know in advance? Or? Uh, that one was, the, uh, the, uh, you know, R&D 100, I totally did not know. The, uh, I think that was a sort of a you have to, uh, you know, you have to try to apply. That was. A, I did it by the company provide matching plan for us. I did not know that. Uh, they says they wanted me to take some pictures. And <laughs> afterwards, uh, I get that award. <laughs> <laughs> very good. That's very then nice. And the Discover Award, they did uh, call me. They did contact me. They, they uh, you know, they will have to fill up a different, they have a process, OK? That was uh, go over different process, and then they, they, I was in, you know, for that. So that was uh, something we we get the award in the uh, Disney World. Yeah. How nice! Uh, yeah. Did you take any family with you? Uh, that uh, yeah, my husband went went with me. Uh huh. Well, that's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Now the the current thing is the book by Mike Wallace. Yeah, that and was a, a surprise too. Yeah, <laughs> tell us a little about that. Incidentally, I have bought the book and oh, I read I was, it. Oh, I was. No, I'm to, uh, I was trying to bring it today. Just have a lot of things before I come to visit you. I will bring you one and uh, sign. You know, oh, for that you. would be very <laughs> nice <laughs> <Yeah>, for you. <laughs> I, today I'm just to. We like. You know, I watch 60 Minutes and Mike yeah. Wallace. He is 60 Minutes. You know. yeah. and that was a surprise too. I got a letter from him says he will. Uh, invite uh, you know so many people. Each one contribute uh, you know a couple pages. You know what do you think of fifty years from now going to? What do you imagine? You know in for in you whatever you 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 thinking of that. So I thought it's an honor. And then I thought uh, I do have something to say. So I <laughs> yes, you did <laughs> very very well done. And and it was true. Everything I wrote there was true. I wasn't uh, featured. That was making I you know make I want the people to know you are able to do a little thing. Uh, just any whatever I do, uh, I did. Everybody else, uh, young young people can do uh, too. You know, I wasn't very special kids. You know, very bright. I, in fact, I was. It was true. I was seeing it. Uh, being called by other kids like a, you know stupid lazy <laughs> true uh, that hurt my feeling a little bit. I would so, think so so I thought well maybe I st if I'm not bright as them and uh, if I couldn't do anything but I try not to be stupid when I grow up <laughs> I'm trying to not be lazy <laughs> so <laughs> I kept that promise I think that's good for me in, <laughs> in fact yeah. So uh, yeah, that was uh, everything re written there was true, and uh, I did have that thinking, you know. Uh, for, uh, I don't know why I have that urge. It wasn't not particularly I want to see somebody or something. And uh, what did you think of the topic when Mike did Mike Wallace contact you? No, they were, we we are free to write anything. Oh, but I mean about his, well, he had the topic for the book. Is what I'm saying. Uh, that, uh, he just say he, he, that name, that title was decided. He just want us to imagine. Oh, sure, 50 exactly. Years. It's an yeah. interesting. Uh, it's a good book. Yeah, yeah. Somebody suggests he should do such things. All so right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get a chance to meet him at all? No. Oh. I mean, we just uh, send him in. Yeah, just communicate. Uh, there are other, you know, sure. people helping. So. Right. Yeah. 
That's very nice. Yeah, well, I was a little late. I guess other people may they they, they gave me a few. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at that. Oh, one thing, you are are you still do, on the uh, graduate faculty in the Department of Foods and Nutrition? I uh, noticed that you were sort of an. Uh, yeah, doing that? and uh, recently I don't. I, you know, I I'm still have associate, but I'm really not doing any too much for them. But uh, I'm I'm more now. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Last year, chemical, school chemical engineering invited me to be their research professor, so very I much. accepted, right. and so I'm very closely working with them. Sure. Okay. okay. Do you do it still? Have you done any teaching at all? Do you do? Have you I don't uh, oh. do no more teaching, but I give lectures. Sure. Like, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Um, how about family? Just tell tell the researchers uh, your family what the children do. Uh, yeah, uh, that's how. Uh, uh, that's my excuse not to do a formal teaching <laughs> because I think I'm a little free, but uh, everything I do. It's always what I, you know, fits my personality, fits my family. Right. And never say one thing must be this, but uh, I happen to like research. <laughs> so, so sure, you have to give up a lot, but uh, and sure, teaching is a noble thing. I like to teach, sure. indi as particularly individually. And, and you do one-on-one uh, -on -one with your yeah, students, too. Yeah, one-on-one. -on -one -one. And uh, uh, so I thought there's a lot of people can do a lot of good teaching. doesn't have to be me. <laughs> did, so. your, um, did your children go to Purdue? Yes, they uh -huh. all had uh, their undergraduate at Purdue. They all uh, went to medical school, although I was not the influence them. <laughs> I did not influence them. So uh, my younger son, Chester Ho, uh, he's a pediatrician here yeah, with the Arnett Clinic. Yeah. So, and where's your other son? He's a doctor. Uh, he's a PhD, MD, PhD. He's uh, uh, still with. Uh, he got his MD, PhD from uh, Washington University, of St. Louis. He's still associated somewhat there, but he has his own own work. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. How about uh, the changes on the campus during the years? Any comments on that? Well, Size wise. Um, Facilities have changed a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, even the yeah. enrollment has changed. Yeah, those seems uh, not to affect me too much. Okay, I always say I'm not a person, you know, cover a lot of area or something. I just focus what I do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and uh, sure, I notice the change, and uh, if I can make some comments, uh, it's good or nice. But uh, you know, this. All good, nice building. If I can suggest anything, should set aside maybe ten percent or something. Set some funding continuously, so right. provide a fund for research. Right, you know. Exactly. That's very Otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, you know, you always uh, totally rely on. Especially in initial, I was lucky to be able to get it. You know, first proposal was uh, yes, recognized importance. I think I was. Uh, you know, at that time, people are a little more treasure, you know, thinking less people in research, let's put this way, 30 years ago. So you have a little initiative, people give you encouragement, you know. I, I would think if 30 years, uh, even I submit that proposal now, people will say, what What do you know? You know, you haven't worked in DNA or something, probably get rejected. But I was lucky, you know, that's a big encouragement. It's a good start. Know. Yes. So I think I should have some funding for people. Have a new sure, definitely it's a new idea. It's a good, good, uh, you know, should, it's the right thinking. And, uh, you know, people give you credits for thinking that is a very logic thing to do and right. uh, innovation. But uh, people could reject you too. So. That's right. And you have to be prepared for that too. Yeah. Right. But uh, so I was lucky for that. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I like to young young scientists who have that luck. You know, you if you can think of some everything. All my research I have to say it's all have new initiatives. Okay. But uh, uh, so happened to be you know the yeast work out too. Everything new. You know, people did not. Uh, Agree my approach. They are more, suppose, more experienced than me. <laughs> I, s I can see more. So it doesn't have to be people working long time. Many people working, uh, I do intend to write a book like that, my, ex my experience, because uh, many people just follow what the other people do, do. And uh, you should uh, 
thinking about whether it's you know right thing to follow. But right. if you have some new ideas, try that out. Okay, right. sure. sure. Now they always have the funding uh, allow you to do that. <laughs> okay, so that's why I think it's uh, balanced. Yeah, should have uh, some more mm, you know funding available for new people things right. like to that. get started and for for a long term project too. You know, you not always get uh, our work can progress much. Uh, faster. Uh, fortunately, I have other grants for uh, do other work. Otherwise, I, although I never one day not think in the project or do a little, sometimes we do very slowly because the funding was not there. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, you got a, a, a Purdue tradition that you like, a favorite Purdue tradition? Well, and uh, again, because uh, I'm right. sure How about an outstanding uh, event? Uh, you have an outstanding event in your life or something that you'd like to share with the researchers? Do you probably had several, imagine. Oh, yeah. Grants. I mean, exciting thing like sure. the, the fir first grant, certainly exciting, right? Oh, sure, I get married, and then that was and then the first baby. It was a little more, a little scared, but still, <laughs> you know. And then the first grant, and then during the, the my thinking, you know, first. Uh, Everything I think, in, uh, like a f we were trying to after the first uh, gene, the important one, there's uh, so many competitions that uh, we did get. It. We are smallest, a very small group. And uh, that exciting, besides, I sort of projected that gene will not work, although we should uh, still get it. <laughs> we did it and proved end up did not work. So every my thinking was correct. But although that was negative, but still, uh, you know, means. Uh, Give myself a little confidence, or whatever the 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 my thinking, my planning was correct. Right. Then, of course, the big thing is the next big thing. I so I get to put the other things together and worked. So that was yeah. something. So yeah. I have a lot of exciting one. Yes, the you do. integration methods work. Uh, you know, as beautiful as can be. So <laughs> everything I planned and I worked seems uh, seems it's already there. I need it. did not never need even repeating. So, <laughs> so that those are the That's I think very I key. was uh, very very lucky. Right. You know, so any uh, special comments for the researchers that you'd like to make uh, in, in closing, Nancy? Anything special that comes to mind? Oh, sure, we like yeah. it. That's why, uh, you know, uh, tell about established the company. Yeah, because there's so it. many. Uh, we, the, the next thing uh, we still, you know, besides make it as efficient for fermentation, and we wanted this process to be, you know, uh, more pro economical, more cost effective, and uh, ethanol, you, usually, ethanol producer doesn't make too, too much profit. And particular cellulose ethanol, there's a, you know need things process. So I, we try to thinking we we can make a pr produce co-products. Those are things we can. We did the prototype here, but you cannot finish it because we can try many different kind. Not every maybe not everyone will fit. Everyone fits for industrial production, and that part this part we cannot. Do work in at Purdue, but it's not uh, supposed to uh, university. University should try things new, okay, not repeating the same right. process. So that's a need a company. Also, company can directly, you know, contact uh, helping other producers. And that was certainly, we do some here, but certainly not the university, you know, Understand. Uh, is supposed to do. So that's why this company very much needed. And so that's why I when, when was the company? Tell them when was the company founded? I founded it two years ago, okay. and uh, I sort of have the idea for a few years. Sure. Yeah, right. So and it's located in the research park. It, this is the first uh, first uh, uh, operation. Okay, sure, the larger one. Uh, we actually already become a citizen, uh, private as the first uh, small staff company already become a global company <laughs> because a lot of the company from you know, all over the world contact me. Mm -hmm. So, and why I say I have a company, they are very much for. They actually, we work with a very large company in India and in China and uh, Europe and there's several large ones here too. Okay. okay, so. Sounds like the things are underway. We hope so, but the initial still need funding. I have some, but we are still looking for some funding. Of course, I have my own 
way certain funding, you know. So many of this uh, funding, they, give, they have too many restrictions, you know, so. And uh, I like to do things, uh, you, you know, if you follow that, I would say if I had somebody, you know, I have to follow, uh, you know, have a, somebody tell me what to do, whether I can do, I cannot do. This work probably will not achieve the company the same way. <laughs> okay, so. I understand. <laughs> We want to wish you lots of luck. Uh, thank thank you. you very much for this interview. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, I hope it's all right. My voice is not good.